Life in hell can be beautiful if you let it. Desire equals power. <laughs> What's going on everyone, this is Ace, and welcome back to The Reckoning. So today, we are kicking off Phase 1 with Lucifer's Fall. Now, the reason why I feel like this is a good place to begin is that Lucifer is a very predominant character within the Lady Death universe. His actions shape the world and the future landscape of multiple main characters and has a direct effect to their lives and stories. This would include the likes of Purgatory, Lady Death, and Cremator. Today we will be going over Lucifer's origin, how old of a being he actually is, and how he fell to his current status. But before we begin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and if you are excited for some more Lady Death content, then go ahead and give this video a like, and be on the lookout for much, much more. It really does mean a lot, and without further ado, let's begin. Lucifer, sometimes referred to as Satanus, is for many best known as Lady Death's main antagonist. She would face him time and time again within the early pages of her tales. So who is the being known as Lucifer? Well, as some of you may assume, he is the ruler of hell. So if you are somewhat knowledgeable of Christian lore or biblical storytelling, then you pretty much would have an idea of who the character is. However, within the Lady Death universe, there are some differences and changes that were made. I plan to go over his story and will also be taking some creative liberties by making, how shall we say, minor editorial changes <laughs> and um the reason why i'm doing this is there are some discrepancies that don't really stay within continuity that to this day were never really addressed so i want to be transparent that the changes i make are my attempt at keeping the story fluid but also minimal enough as to not make any like alarming issues or problems to the lady death universe that would cause harm or confusion so where some would assume lucifer is just an angel he actually is something more he may share similarities with them in his earlier form but he actually is much older than the angels he is what is known as a chaos lord so before what we would call the big bang and the birth of the current universe as we know it there was eternity and in this sense eternity is defined as existence before time itself this existence was held within the initial singularity of the primordial atom <laughs> and um basically just essentially the beginning of time matter and energy and it's here where lucifer was created he would be created by an older chaos lord known as jehovah or god and yes this would be the same god as determined in christian lore or biblical stories very little is known about the history of the chaos lords and how many there actually were or their origins but i will do a separate video on them in the future for now, all we need to know is that Lucifer, compared to some of these other Chaos Lords, uh, for example, say, Lord Genocide, is actually a much younger Chaos Lord, and could be a representation of the Chaos Lord's growing discontent with just mere existence and unpredictability that Chaos was. They were pushing the boundaries and moving more towards order and creation. So, from birth, Lucifer knew both discontent and desire you could even say he was a product of it from his creation lucifer would exist amongst his fellow chaos lord witnessing them revel in creation he would see the imprisonment of armageddon the construction of the forever wall he witnessed the chaos war which finally led to the big bang and the creation of the current universe as the surviving chaos lords were spread across this universe lucifer would stay by his creator jehovah or god this could show that lucifer had a sense of attachment to and affinity for god now, God, tired of war and seeing some of his brethren fall to the darkness of destruction, would create the celestial kingdom known as heaven. Within this kingdom, all was tranquil and peaceful. Perhaps the reason for creating the kingdom in this way would be the Chaos Lord's desire for a time past, a time before time. Lucifer witnessed Jehovah's work and the creation of the angels, which shared in his own likeness, including Michael, the archangel. And he witnessed the creation of mankind, and for some time there was peace, but the seeds of discontent grew from within Lucifer. Lucifer, who was highly regarded as a being of magnificence in beauty, strength, and knowledge by the other angels. Some of them would even say that he was, at this time, God's greatest creation. He was God's most trusted servant. However, pride 
would consume him. It was from this pride that Lucifer would forever change the course of history. He would gather a following of angels to side with him and rebel against their lord. In response, God would send the Archangel Michael to gather the warrior angels to meet this rebellion and for the first time within time, war came into existence and heaven would know strife. Brother fought brother, sister fought sister. Before only good was possible, but forevermore that could never be again and the Archangel Michael, while fighting Lucifer in his own kind, never knew such sorrow. It's kind of interesting because before now, only God and Lucifer would have known war and destruction since they would have experienced it prior while on the same side, but now they are against one another. So finally, as the war was coming to an end, Michael upon banishing Lucifer and his surviving followers through the mysterious nexus of all things, decreed that only those who are worthy may pass through the gates of heaven. Lucifer and his followers, who were now deemed the fallen angels, descended through the nexus of all things onto God's creation, Earth. And yet others still landed through various realms and other worlds throughout the creation, never to be seen again by heaven's gaze. While on Earth, Lucifer would be angered by his limitations, for while a lord of chaos and a powerful one, he could not create, and he believed this to be his weakness. So in retaliation, he would pervert and taint with darkness God's creations, particularly humanity. He would relish in tempting them and luring them from God's path. As for the fallen angels, sometimes referred to as the Watchers, they would be consumed with lust and would couple with the daughters of men. However, because the fallen were damned, their offspring would be the birth of monsters onto the world. This would be a reminder of Lucifer's fall from grace. This perversion and destruction would go on until God had had enough and would lash out at Lucifer and the fallen angels. This battle, sometimes referred to as the second war, which heaven knew, was a lot more swift. A rematch between Lucifer and his watcher angels against God and the forces of heaven. Once again, Lucifer would know defeat. But unlike the previous war, this time, God himself, the Chaos Lord, would make himself seen directly to Lucifer and the fallen angels. Staring up at the sky, the shackled angels would see an immense storm of clouds laced with lightning as it would spread as far as the eye could see. All of existence existence knew at this point that God is coming. Michael and his forces would stake and impale the watchers as they await God's reckoning. Even on the verge of defeat, they were instilled with Lucifer's pride. They lashed out at Jehovah proclaiming their superiority to mankind, and with tears in his eyes, he threw them down into the fiery pits of the realm known as hell. Once the heavenly light gave peace and harmony to its recipient, now it gives the harshness of truth and the glaring clarity of judgment. As the watcher angels fall even further from grace, they ask themselves, how could this have happened? We are perfection, created from perfection. We are without fault. But then, in the blink of an eye, the accursed are tried and condemned. Lucifer alone, who was not impaled, was forced to watch as his devoted were thrown down. It is his fate to join them, and God now turns to him. Lucifer, you miserable traitor. Destroyer of paradise, you will pay. You will feel my wrath, arch traitor. For your betrayal, you will suffer in the cold and dark. You, the source of all misery, will be condemned to wallow in it yourself for all eternity. It was then that God struck down Lucifer from earth and into the realm of hell. Within this new realm, Lucifer would command and divide the land amongst his fallen angels and making them his archdukes of hell. Since that time, the father of evil has pondered his miserable fate in hell. He, who would be denied the glory of heaven, has made it his mission to offend it, and all because of foolish pride. And that is our story of Lucifer, you guys. This is the story of his origin and how this Chaos Lord ended up in his current state. He would divide the realm of hell amongst his fallen, who would be later named the Archdukes of Hell. He would be joined by his first wife, Leviatha, at his side to rule over hell in the city of Dis. The natives of this realm, the Hellborn, from this day forward, would have to endure the colonization of their home. Overall, it's interesting the life of the being known as Lucifer, and how he was brought into existence out of desire. It's kind of fitting when he would be the one to teach Lady Death the power of desire, and how in his future realm of hell, desire equals power. This was Lucifer's story. However, this is not where his story ends, not by a long shot. As mentioned, he will be playing so many vital roles within the Lady Death universe and for Lady Death herself. Now, I not only hope you guys enjoyed the story, but I also hope that this got you curious and excited about other elements of this tale that I will explore in the future, such as the Nexus of All Things, the portal in which the fallen angels were cast out of heaven by Michael the Archangel, 
the Chaos Wars between the Chaos Lords who had reveled in the art of destruction. What was Armageddon? Uh, or maybe even Lord Genocide, one of the older Chaos Lords. What would become of the Fallen Angels, and so much more. If you guys are curious about these future stories and details, well, definitely stick around, as there is so much left to cover. And uh, again, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comments what you, your thoughts on Lucifer, the Chaos Lord. We will be continuing on with Phase 1 of Lady Death Universe, a Genesis of Agony. And again, thank you all so, so much for watching, and until next time, take care.